Future Broncos, thank you for tuning in with us. Welcome to another episode of Project Camino's The Bronco Scoop. My name is Dakari. I'm a second year transfer student majoring in psychology here at Cal Poly Pomona and student assistant of Project Caminos. For those of you who have had the chance to tune in to part one and two, we thank you and welcome you to part three of our series. If this is your first time tuning in, you should definitely consider giving parts one and two on our channel a listen. As I mentioned, today's episode will be part three of our seven part fun fact series. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce the special guest we have joining us today, fellow Project Camino student assistant, Alejandra, but we just call her Ale. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Ale. I'm currently majoring in VCD, which stands for Visual Communication Design, formerly known as the Graphic Design major here at Cal Poly. I'm an incoming senior and I currently am the Graphic Design Student Assistant for Project Caminos. Thank you for joining us, Ale. Let's go ahead and dive in. So fun fact number one, in the mid 1980s, the animal science department supplied farm animals for Disneyland's Big Thunder Ranch attraction. That's actually so interesting. And it, it makes sense, you know, we're really close to Disneyland from Cal Poly, right? About 20 minutes? Yeah. Maybe 30. All right, fun fact number two, Cal Poly Pomona was the first local university to teach a course on the history of Africa in the 1960s. Fun fact number three, at Cal Poly Pomona, not only are, are our students smart, so are our trash cans. The big belly trash cans around campus are powered by solar energy and they compact waste and recyclables to prevent the can from filling quickly. Once they are full, they use campus Wi-Fi to send a message to facilities management to empty them. That's so funny. I've always noticed that the trash cans were really big and they had like, yeah, it has like a sign on it. And I never thought that it was doing all of that inside. Yeah, it's pretty futuristic. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, fact number four, the first building constructed on the campus was building three, which is where the College of Science, the College of Science labs are located. Let me start this one. Okay. Fun fact number four, the first building constructed on the campus was building three, which is where the College of Science labs are located. This building was renovated in 2008. Fun fact five, W.K. Kellogg, who is not only responsible for the birth of the university, is also responsible for the birth of the popular cereal company Kellogg, featuring favorites such as Corn Flakes, Frosted Flakes, Eggo Waffles, Pringles, and more. This one's really interesting because I've been eating Kellogg items all my life, and I had no idea that I had to end up at the school where the founder is who created those things. So I think that's really cool. Yes, definitely. It's such a big company. It's a really cool fact about Cal Poly, definitely. And fact number six, W.K. Kellogg donated the land that Cal Poly Pomona rests on, the original Arabian horses, and much more. He adored the horses so much, and because of all of his generous donations, this is why Cal Poly Pomona's mascot is a Bronco. Fun fact number seven, students of college and hospitality management operate and manage CPP's very own restaurant called Restaurant at Kellogg Ranch or RKR. Students gain professional experience by providing excellent guest service and preparing quality food. So that's more of that learn by doing that Cal Poly Pomona is so famous for. That's going to bring us to the end of part three. So far, we've shared 21 fun facts about Cal Poly Pomona. And before we say goodbye, we have our quote or question of the day segment. Today, we chose a question. Our question is, what is your favorite Kellogg item? Mine is definitely the Homestyle Eggo Waffles. What about you, Ale? Oh, I do love Eggos. Uh, I also really like Pringles. Yeah, I love my Eggos like toasted really nice with some butter and some syrup on it. And the original Pringles are really good too. I like mine with some Nutella on top. Oh, wow. I've never tried that. It sounds really good. Go ahead and comment your favorite Kellogg item below and let's see which item gets the most votes. 
A huge thank you to every listening ear that tunes in with us. Be on the lookout for the rest of our fun fact series. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss a beat. Follow us on social media at CPP Caminos to get notifications and updates about our upcoming workshops and episodes. Also, check out our link tree to register for upcoming workshops. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.